This is KY Poke Dad. The day is finally here. I spent $38 on a mystery Pokemon box where the person said, I know nothing about Pokemon. Let's see if it's worth it. Before we jump into this, make sure to smash that like and subscribe button. We would really appreciate it. Let's take a look at this box. It's absolutely packed full of cards. I don't know how they taped it. I obscured KY Poke Dad's address. You don't need to know where we live. Using our pokey knife here, opening up the box for the first time. Uh, kids, do not use this at home unless your parents are around. The box, I can tell by opening it, is the starter gift box from the original TCG in the mid to late 90s. I have looked for this on eBay itself, and they're generally around 20 bucks. This one is full of cards. It doesn't have the original stuff in here, but right out of the gate, we've made our 20 bucks back. Looking at it, I've got some of the Delta Species and Power Keeper cards in here that are from the 2000s. Uh, looks like we've got a lot of common cards from the first original sets. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a common counter down in the bottom corner of the screen. Every time we run into a common card, you're gonna see that incrementally climb. Let's start grabbing our piles of cards. We've got a lot to go through here, guys. So I'm excited to look at this. Hopefully we find some amazing stuff in here. I, I, I just can't wait to look at it. This is kind of reliving my childhood here uh, in front of you guys, so we appreciate you watching. Let's start by grabbing a pile. I'm going to grab one with, it looks like Krabby on the top here, so let's get going. This is Krabby from our fossil. It's our first common card. We've got a first edition Mankey from Jungle. That's worth about two bucks by itself with the condition that it's in. It looks like it's mod play or heavy play, which means moderate play. We've got some other common cards in here. Metapod, Krabby, Eevee from our rocket, as well as Eevee Jungle, Execute, uh, Grimer. We've got some energy cards. So it looks like our commons are, are coming out in our first stack here. Bunch of energies. Psyduck, uh, Shelter again, Amistar, Wartortle, and Cloyster is going to wrap out our first pile. 17 commons in there. We got one cool card with that first edition Mankey in the condition it's in. in. So grabbing another pile here. And uh, we're going to start out with, it looks like Horsey on the top. Wait a second, I've got a Gengar over here. This is a non hollow Gengar from Fossil. Uh, we love Gengars around here, and with the condition that it's in, it's about $3. So we're already at uh, minus 13. We started with minus 38. Condition's not bad. Uh, I really like this. You see Sleepy Gengar in the background, so what we're going to do is pull out our trusty hit holders. Uh, hopefully, as we find more cool stuff, we're going to fill that up, but I'm going to set it next to Sleepy Gengar. Let's keep going with our next stack. We've got Horsey and an Energy. We have Root Fossil from Power Keepers. That's worth $1.50. The trainer cards are uh, typically popular in the older sets because um, they were played a lot with the card games. Going through the rest of the commons here and more Energies. Uh, we've seen a couple cards from the original Kanto folks. Here's War Tortle. Uh, we have Ammonite, and I'm going to flip these upside down cards, uh, followed by another Ammonite, a Tentacool, and a Double Energy. The Double Colorless Energy, those are hard to find now, and those are worth about two bucks. Not bad condition. We'll put it up with our hit holder. We've got a Duduo, a Bell Sprout, Water Energy, Ammonite again, Sea King, Meowth, Pidgey, uh, Staryu, Krabby, Kakuna, Upside Down Water, and an Upside Down Cloister. So, seen a couple of duplicates, but still some really cool stuff from base set and from our jungle and fossil sets. A lot of the early on Pokemon cards. I'm getting ready for uh, now pile number three. We're making a slow dent in this. Um, hope you guys are enjoying it. We're up to 57 on our common counter. And we're going to start out this stack with a Lickitung from Jungle. We have a Fire Energy. We have Eevee from Power Keepers. That's worth uh, $1.80. And the Delta Species Cyndaquil also up there. So chipping away at our totals here. Venonat, Grimer. We have a Japanese Krabby. So this is the fossil version of uh, the Japanese release. So I'm going to set that off to the side. Uh, another Cloister, we have Poliwag, uh, Shuckle from Power Keepers, some Energy Cards, Metapod, Magikarp again, uh, Shelter again, some Fire Energy, Cloister that keeps coming back, Zubat, Bellsprout, Jigglypuff upside down, Coughing upside down, Nidoran, Slowpoke, Rattata, 
Firo, Nidoran, Weedle, Pidgey, Haunter. We've got a couple of the other uh, jungle and fossils coming through here. Energy Search, Kabutops, and Doug Trio non-hollows. Those are a dollar a piece. Our double energy back again. So we're about to break even. Uh, Doug Trio for a dollar. Victory Bell and Ditto. The non-hollow Ditto from Fossil. I love this. That is a $3 card all day that puts us in the green. So we've now made a couple extra bucks uh, from our $38 investment. Again, if you're enjoying this, hit that subscribe button. We love doing it. We hope that you love watching it. We're going to keep going through all of the Pokemon cards. Poke Dad's house is getting stacked to the brim with all the cards that we've opened on our videos so far. So we hope that you love it. We are getting ready for our next stack. It looks like we're maybe about halfway through. We've got 103 on our common counter, so we're going to call that out. Ammonite again is our 104. Graveler, we have Power Keeper Rolts. That's the 30 cent card. Uh, more trainers from base set. We have the Delta Species Rolts behind us there. Arbok, Oddish, Power Keeper Slugma. The Oddish is a first edition from Jungle, so there's another couple dollars there. Pikachu. So this is our pop um, collection Pikachu number two. It's actually a four dollar card. So we are getting in the green here. Ten bucks so far. Uh, still going through it. We've got our Nidoran, some more energies, Tangela, Weedle. We have Pikachu from Jungle. And you can see the red cheeks on the Pikachu there. More to come on that. Energy, Venonat, uh, Weezing again, Butterfree, Dratini from Delta Species. And I mentioned Delta Species earlier. You can see that Dratini was actually a grass type. So um, not normally what Dratini is. More commons as I shuffle through here. We've got a Bellsprout, Nidoran, Bill, Pokeball Gambler, uh, Potion, handful of others. My, my hand's actually getting quite full here. Computer Search. We didn't have this in our binder. So that's worth several bucks as well. Uh, and that's going to go in our binder collection. We have another Root Fossil. So again, another $1.50. We're up to $14, guys. This is crazy. Uh, more stuff as we're going through here. Mr. Fuji. That trainer card is hard to find from Fossil. That's $3.50. Uh, we have Wooper and the Leap. So I was mentioning the Delta Species. Wooper is not normally a grass type. With the Delta Species cards, uh, they actually do change their, their types. More uh, common trainer cards as we go through here. Slowpoke again, Ghastly. Let's flip these around. We have our Grass Energy, uh, Drowsy, Slowpoke. Sableye from Power Keepers. So again, that's another $1.20. Guys, we're up to $20. Um, so we've made almost $60 now, if you think of the 38 that we've spent on through here. Uh, flipping through the rest of it, we've got more energy, more energy, more energy. Uh, Slowpoke, Ghastly, Rattata, Eevee, the Psychic Energy, Krabby again, Grass, Fire, Fighting, Grass, uh, Fighting again. The Pokemon Trader, so this is good for your binders too, that's worth a dollar. And Charmeleon from Power Keepers. So the Power Keeper cards actually are, are worth quite a bit now. Also, for those that have been collecting uh, or just getting back into collecting, a lot of the energy cards out of base set are actually worth more than the common cards. And I think a lot of us, um, as we were growing up, either threw them away, played with them pretty hard. Uh, they, they're just not in circulation much anymore as, as much as the common cards were. All right, I'm going to go ahead and finish our two stacks we don't have a whole lot of cards left. We are up to 181 common cards, counting that right. So, so far, it looks like we've made close to $23. We've definitely made our money back. We've got more to go through here. We're going to start out with Weedle and Golbat. I'm going to keep flipping these cards upside down um, just to make sure they're in the right orientation here. Another Potion, uh, followed by Jigglypuff, Farfetch'd. We have Skitty from Power Keepers. There's a little bit more money. Um, again, more trainers, some commons, Persian there on the top, Poke Center. We're starting to see a lot of duplicates as we're getting through this box. This is crazy that we had so many cards in the box to begin with. Rapidash, that's a hard card to find. Arcanine, that's a $4 card for the non hollow and a dollar for the Clefable. They're hard to get a hold of now. Um, more Eevees, more Trainers. We've seen Oddish again, Recycle, a couple more Energies. This common counter is just ticking away, ticking away. 
there is something in a sleeve in my hand. Uh, I, I hope it's going to be one of the good cards. We're going to see what's sleeved there. Uh, last, that's another hard trainer to find. That's a dollar, so I'm going to set that off to the side. We may need that in the binder. I've got to look and see. We're trying to complete base set. Um, we've started from scratch, so uh, we, we've got down to just a couple cards that we need. Ponyta, Ekans. We've got Paris, uh, Psyduck, again, Porygon, Energy Search, more Imposters. Are you kidding me? The sleeved card was a recycle? That's a whammy card. Somebody has, has trolled us there. We're going to set it off to the side. Flareon from Jungle. That non-hollow is worth $4, so we're going to set it up on the hit holder. Uh, Grimer, Arbok, Jigglypuff, another Flareon, so another $4, and the Moltres to go along with it. That's an $8 card in this condition. Setting these off to the side, we're ending up with Charmeleon, Shelter, Growlithe, Ponyta, Sea King, Squirtle. I'm going to flip these back uh, right side up so you guys can get a good look at those. Goldeen, Tentacool. We've got Shelter, Magikarp, Armonite again, Tentacruel again. Here is Krabby and a couple more energies. Got some water, 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 and Psychic. Dratini. I like the Dratini base set card. We're going to end up with commons here. Parasect. And it looks like this one's been crinkled a little bit or damaged. So that's unfortunate. That's a cool card to have. And check this out. We've got Poliwag. This is a shadowless card. So look along the edge here. There's nothing that compared to this card. You've got the shadowed edge. The shadow list cards are worth quite a bit of money. There weren't a lot that were thrown out there. And even a common card like this is 75 cents. So putting that on the hit holder. Before we get to our last stack, guys, we are at $46.10. That's not even counting the common cards. Our commons are setting at 259. So it's kind of it's crazy how much was packed in this box if you think of what we've gone through here. And I love that you've stuck around, continue to stick around with this video uh, as we go through. Now, I hope I don't get another whammy again. I'm putting this card on the bottom. Let's see what we come up with. Uh, it may just be a common card like Recycle. Flip through here. We got Krabby, Kingler, Seedra, some Energies, Staryu. Uh, let's see what else we've got here. Staryu again, Tentacle, Charmander. Poliwhirl, uh, Fighting Energy, Fighting Energy, Fighting Energy, Horsey, and we've got Metapod, we've got a few other comments. Hey, check this out. This is the Hollow TV Reporter. This is a stamped card, so this is from Dragon Frontiers. That alone is worth uh, $5. Celio again from Power Keepers, it's going to keep pushing this up. And not considered a common card as it's going to be worth 30 cents. Another TV reporter. So let's look at these side by side. You've got a stamped hollow. You've got a common uh, trainer in TV reporter. The big difference here is one of those is worth $5. The other one's worth a quarter. First edition Paris. So we've seen those first edition cards pop up. That is their first run. Those are worth a dollar. So I'm going to set that guy to the side. Trainer cards. Pokemon trader. Again, that's another dollar for us. Uh, Weeping Bell, Voltorb, Squirtle, Grovile from Power Keepers. So those are going to keep inching up. That's a 50 cent card. We have Muck, Zubat, uh, Ekans, another double colorless energy. So another couple dollars. We have the Magneton non hollow from Fossil. That's two dollars. Another Gengar. So it's another three dollars in our pocket there from Fossil. We are hitting some fire here at the end of this stack. Uh, it's insane how much <laughs> was in the back here. Honor, Nita Queen. Oh, it's unfortunate this, that the Nita Queen is damaged. Look at that. It looks like somebody was chewing on it. Uh, Kangaskhan, Pidgeotto. That's a $2.5 card. Wigglytuff, Warp Energy. So this energy card uh, also is very rare. It's around $3 and $3.20 to be exact. So um, clipping along, our common counter is up here. We are at 311 common cards. Even if we just got the common cards... This box was worth it. We've got some awesome stuff back on our hit holders. I am going to set you down. I am pressing my luck. That's an 80s reference for any of the other uh, pokey parents out there watching. I hope that I don't get burnt like I did on the recycle. Let's flip through these energies. We have a trainer, pokey flute, need arena, more energies, mysterious fossil. The item finder is $3. We've got another power keeper, so that's another 30 cents. 
If you guys saw the Pikachu and this one has red cheeks, not the yellow ones there, keep that card. That is big money. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't find that, but we're going to keep going through here. First edition Bellsprout, first edition Executor, so there's a $3 card. Uh, a couple first editions coming out of here. Oh, and the first edition Execute, so that's another 2 bucks. First edition Zapdos, no way, this is the best card that we've seen so far. Uh, it's crazy, even with the condition that this is in, this is a $10 card. So this is awesome, it's the best card we've found. Um... No doubt. Out of the stack, I thought Moltres was there. Zapdos is right up there, especially because of the first edition. So let's finish this off. We've got Professor Oak, Recycle again, Pikachu again, uh, Item Finder, another $3. Going to keep rolling through. A lot of trainers to, to wrap us up with Energy Removals, Gust of Wind, uh, Power Recycler, Magnemite Common. Hey, it looks like we've got some more Japanese. We had the Japanese Krabby earlier. This is Tentacool from Fossil. Uh, we've got Unknown and Haunter and Cyndaquil. This is from the Neo Darkness to Light series. Those are all worth a lot of money now. And and we are just cranking up, finishing this out. We got the first edition Neat Arena to end us out with $3. Guys, we're up to $115.85. Crazy, 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 considering we started this with a $38 mystery box. The lady said she had no idea uh, what Pokemon was or anything about it. Just sold a box of random cards at an auction. So I can't be any more excited by this. We found the $10 card in here. We found some $8 cards with Moltres, with Haunter from the Japanese Neo Darkness to Light. We've got the Unknowns, which I personally like collecting the Unknowns. Those are just cool. I like Unknowns and Dittos. I don't know what you guys like. Um, call it out if you can. It, it's just cool that, that people collect different stuff. Our commons, we ended up with 350 So at $0.10 cents a piece, that puts us at $35. We're at $150. Again, insane. $350. If those are $0.10 cents a piece, guys, <laughs> we've made four times the money that we spent on this. It's absolutely nuts. I'm going to put all of this stuff to the side. I am waiting with anticipation. If I end up with another whammy, um, <laughs> I'm just going to end this video. Uh, I like the. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, this is Base Set 2's Venusaur. We have Base Set 2 Venusaur with the hollow. We, <laughs> we have hit the money card. I thought the $10 card was the winner. Oh, let's look at the back of it. This is beautiful. A little bit through here without grading or anything this is a $60 card so we're up to $210 I'm gonna put this in the holder this is going right in the middle uh, one of our subscribers made this card holder for us so thank you for that I cannot believe we ended up with a $60 hollow Venusaur in great condition from base set 2 absolutely nuts coming back uh, <laughs> from a box that, that I get to open with you guys so I am, I'm so excited. I'm, I'm speechless, really. I, I don't even know what to say. Let's look at this one more time. The mystery box plus the value. This is a 555% return. Um, I, yeah, speechless. Look, look at that card is absolutely beautiful. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you next time.